So I'm Sandra, I'm the leader of Flimby Girls Brigade, but I also work for Flimby Food Pantry. Well, as a leader, you've got to organise everything for the, for the children, which sometimes it can take up to two to three days. Depends what you're doing and how big of a project you're going to do. Other times, you can be done in maybe a day, but I really enjoy what I do. I've been a volunteer for Flimby Girls Brigade approximately about 26 years. But, um, I've actually just got my 20 year service for them as being a leader. Um, the thing I like best about doing Girls Brigade is meeting the children, doing things with them. You become part of them families. Some children maybe have a problem and will come and talk to you. And others you suss them out as oh there's something matter in there but it's really good to be among the children you help their mental health you keep them off the streets out of trouble and we have some good fun in here <laughs> yeah we have some good fun good nights good crack amongst them we set our food bank off in march last year and it's set off just to give all people on emergency parcels because there was no, they weren't able to go to the shops, etc. So we set a, an emergency thing off in here. And at one point we were given 40, 40 bags out a week. But then they dwindled off when they sort of opened the shops up a little bit and they could get out they sort of dropped off. So then we opened it up to the people of the village. And well at present we've got 26 to 30 families coming here so there's still the need for it. And if anybody would like to donate to us, we'll, we, we will be grateful of anything anybody could give us. Um, it's open on a Friday morning from half past 10 till 12 o'clock. I'd just like to say thank you to New Balance at Flimbury, Greg's at Cockermouth, Leslie at Morrison's Workington, The Factory Shop at Maryport, Plaza Cinema Workington and Fair Share and anyone else who has donated to Flimbury Food Pantry.